Hey there! So we're going to start by opening up our puppet and going straight into its logic. And in the controller logic, we can find that there already is a health manager, so we're just going to use that one. In the gadgets menu and the logic and processing sub menu, we can put down a microchip to make things a little bit more tidy. From here, we can scroll over and we can put down a text displayer. This is going to be the visual for our health bar. Now, currently in play mode, it doesn't show anything. So to fix this, we can enter text and we can just put in an empty space. That way, it'll still show up while in play mode. But to make it look more like a health bar, we can start by making it green, and we can just do some fine adjustments here and there, like turning on or off shadows, as well as adjusting the overall shape and opacity of the box itself. You'll want to make sure to turn off auto fit, that way we can adjust the overall dimensions of the text box to resemble more of a straight bar. If you want the health bar to properly drain, you're going to want to make sure that you align it to either side, because if you put it in the center or do custom fit, it'll simply grow and shrink like this, which doesn't usually look good for a health bar. We can see now that when we align it to the left and we pull it in, it moves as a health bar should. For the vertical alignment, you can place it however you like because this won't affect the movement of the health bar. For visual purposes, I'm going to duplicate that text box and in our secondary one, I'm going to make it black instead of green. This will overall look better as the green bar is depleted. Currently, we can see that the black bar is in front of the green bar, which is not what we want. So to fix this, we can go into our settings and we can adjust the sort order. And the way the sort order works is that the higher number will always go in front of whatever is lower than it. Now we can see that the green bar is in front of the black bar as it should be, and then we can go in and see that when we shrink down the green bar, the black bar will show behind it. To get the bar to go down, we're going to use a trusty old keyframe, and we're simply going to make it so that it'll drag down the green bar as low as it can go. Just for testing purposes, I'm going to put down a timer so that we can make sure that everything is working properly. So putting in the timer output into the keyframe and hitting play, we can see that the bar goes down properly. But of course, we want the health bar to be representative of the puppet's health. So what we can do next is we can go into our gadgets and put down a signal manipulator. This will effectively make the signal as strong as our health is low. This will make sure that the health bar is representative of our real health. After inverting the output, I'm going to remap the threshold to be 100 exactly the same as our maximum health. Opening the tweak menu for the health manager, I'm just going to plug in the current health into that signal manipulator and then plug that into the keyframe. In play mode, we can see that as we lower our health, it begins to send a signal to that keyframe, which then lowers our health bar. To make sure that our health bar completely drains when we lose all of our health, we're going to need to add another keyframe. And what we're going to do in this keyframe is we're going to go in and we're going to make it so that that green bar becomes completely invisible. We'll put down a new signal manipulator, this one's set only to invert output, and this will make sure that this new keyframe is only activated when our current health is set to zero. After wiring that to our keyframe, we can then put the current health into the new signal manipulator. And for now, I turned off the death input so I wasn't constantly losing my puppet during this video. So we can see now that when the health goes all the way down to zero, it activates our new keyframe which completely empties the health bar. And at this point, you're done! Just remember to rewire the health manager into the die input on the controller sensor. But for additional effect, I'm going to re-edit that original keyframe and also set the text box to red. And this will give a really cool effect that basically makes it so that as the player loses health and becomes closer to dying, they'll see that their health becomes more and more red. Becoming completely red at the bare minimum of health right before it completely goes away. And of course, there's always ways to improve. So make sure to experiment and just play around with this system to get it exactly how you want it. What I've done here is I've just put down a few different cubes with their own health modifiers that will both take away as well as restore health to the player. The glowing ones are set to continually take away as well as restore health, while the dull ones simply do it once. So I'm just going to go into test mode now and jump into my puppet just to show you how it all works, and that'll conclude this video. I just want to say thank you very much for watching. You know, life can get pretty hectic at times, so you just gotta make sure to get some rest, and as always, have sweet dreams.